Hello and thank you for joining. In this advanced tutorial, we're going to create an event-based schedule that will monitor for an unread email which will contain certain information. The data in the email will then be pulled and then used to populate a database. First, we will add a selection criteria or a condition that we would want to monitor for. Select unread email is present and then authenticate to your email box. Put in the name of the condition, decide whether the statement will be true or false, in this case it will be true. Once it's been tested, once you click test, then the green arrow will now become highlighted. Select the inbox that you wish to monitor. And then decide what criteria needs to match in order for the schedule to be triggered. You can forward the email, redirect the email, save attachments, or remove the email altogether. However, in this case, we want to pull data from it. Once we've established our condition, the next thing is we will need to establish a task to pull the information from the email. In the database module, select Insert Record. Pick it up and drag it to the right. And now we can build a simple tool in order to move the information from the email into a specified database. Select the DSN you want to connect to. Click Next. And then select the table that you want to that you want to add the record to. Select the columns that you wish to update. And using event-based inserts, we can pull in the information from the email. Usually this information will be in the body of the email, so you would use a custom insert. A custom insert enables you to pull fields from the body of your email and insert them directly into your database or anywhere at all. You'll see here where it says custom. The custom insert will read everything to the right of a particular field descriptor, pull the information, and then insert it directly wherever you need to go. Simple as drag and drop. So for example in your email you have things in your body like name, colon, uh, product ID, colon, um, uh, processed, yes or no. We can actually suck those fields out by indicating the name of the field that's in our body. So for example, name, colon. Now all we have to do is simply pick it up and drag it to where we're going to set its value. Then press down. So now what we'll do, we're going to automatically suck those fields that we've indicated out of the email and place it directly into the account name field in our database. Do this until you've done it for all the fields that you wish to add. Once you've completed all the information on adding the account or adding the information that you wish to insert into the database record, click Next. This is your finalized query. You can then add any continuous task that you want, and once you're satisfied, you can simply click OK. So we've now created a schedule in which we will read an unread email pull the information from that email and then subsequently update or insert a database record uh, reflecting that information. Thank you very much for joining.